unread books, unopened letters, unworn clothes. These are just some of the things many of us hold on to for years. But why do we do it? Well, our second guest of the evening may just have the answer. She's a professional life coach and a declutterer. Good evening, Juliet Lando. Hello. Welcome to the Thank show. Thank you for having me. Wow. I mean, that's a title. Life coach. I can understand life coach, professional declutterer. I know it's quite a long title for someone who believes in simplicity. <laughs> it really is. Do you go around people's houses or? Well, only when they invite me, when they ask me to come in. Well, listen, yes. once I've seen how you do this, next weekend, we're up for it. <laughs> OK. So, look, why, I mean, why do we have this notion about keeping on to things for a start? Why do we hoard things? It's really interesting because I don't ask why. I think if you start asking why you hold on to things, you can get caught up in... Um, worrying and anxiety and stress, it's much easier to think about what kind of life do you want to have? What kind of home do you want to have? Yeah. Um, how is the clutter getting in your way? Yeah. Um, and for everybody, that's very, very different. It's an individual decision. Well, just we've got for the record, handbag next to us. Not my handbag. <laughs> just for the record, this isn't part of our set. We keep our set very clean and I can see. Yes. But this bag has a few items that a regular household might have, uh, that somebody might have hoarded. So um, let's see. We've got a magazine. Oh, some menus. Oh, oh, menus pizza. can be quite useful. Yeah. All pizza the junk numbers. mail that comes Sorry. through the door. It's amazing how much um, paper clutter. But is should really that just be junk? To deal magazine. With. I mean, should I not keep it to it one side? Because I might have to order it one day. You we've never know when you're going to need it. Um, and some a lot of people pamphlets. have difficulty dealing with all this post, all the paper that comes through the door, um, junk mail, um, magazines, catalogues, and yes, they should be recycled. Now, but actually this developing next item that Sadie's bringing out, because I was I was at home at the weekend and there was a couple of boxes, and I said to my son, like, we need to get rid of these. He said, oh no, we keep them just in case something goes wrong. Or yeah. I might have to sell them in the future. Right. Lots of people do want to hold on to things like that. In just in case. Uh, just in case. Just in case. You never know. These are relatively small, but what happens when you have television boxes and playstations and you know the huge cardboard packaging um, and also all the stuff that comes inside you know all those um, multilingual um, manuals yeah. with the instructions in Swedish on how to operate your well, you never gadgets. know you might sell it to a you Swedish never know. guy <laughs> you never know chances are you won't now, the guy sitting next to you our friend Zay I've lived with him and I can tell you he's very tidy <laughs> he has very few things a little bag what's your secret Zay <laughs> Is it that you're just not sentimental over I things? I think when you're always travelling and you're always bouncing from place to place, you just you you just okay. I'm going right down to what I mm -hmm. actually need. And you're probably the same. I am when it comes to travel. I mean, you know, but I can go home, there really small. Minimal. Yes. But my yeah. room in London is just ridiculous. People at the who moment. have lived in the same place for a long time um, tend to accumulate more clutter. Maybe that's um, but Juliet, yes. um, what do you find most people hold on to? What's the item? Is it things that are like photographs and old things that are sentimental value, or is it, you know, stuff that we it's should have thrown away before individual. they It's very individual. I mean, the wonderful thing about being a declutterer is you never know with each individual what their issues are going to be. So for some people, um, for women, very often it's clothes. Mm -hmm. and shoes and handbags and belts and all the accessories um, and um, for men very often it's gadgets and chargers Old and chargers cables that, okay. and USBs and all that paraphernalia. Yeah, always come in handy. You never know when you're going to okay, need look, it. Let, let, let's, let's, let's go into my room for the moment. It is a real mess. Mm -hmm. I, have to admit. I mean it's, it's a tidy mess. But I know right. what yeah. <laughs> yeah in <laughs> London at the moment it's, it's, well, it's not what it used to be like. Yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> What, what, what's the starting point? I mean, I've got. I'd start by asking you, where do you think the clutter is? What's getting in your way? If you can get to your bed without stumbling over clothes and papers and boxes and books on the floor, can you find the things that you need in the morning? Or are you forever looking for your car keys? I'm not bad that way, down? but let's just say that my room. I mean, I'll have to. I'll have to I'm mm -hmm. a friend of mine, I remember. You literally had to walk through his room over books and bags to get to his bed. Right. I remember that. But did it bother him? He was fine with it. He was, the he rest was of us. fine for it. Then I wouldn't be working with someone like him because people have individual levels of tolerance. Some people can't sleep if there's one piece of paper on the coffee table. So you know, somebody did have an issue, yes. and Sadi has got these lovely black bags. What yes. right. are the black bags for? Um, I would come in and ask the client what they need to declutter, where they feel troubled, and you can very often feel, you know, tension, anxiety, um, and then I would coach the client through a process of deciding what to keep and what matters, what really matters in their lives, um, and then what to donate to charity, what to recycle, what to reuse. Mm. So we'd have lots of different bags for different... So uh, anything to do with a taxman, put it in the bin? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Papers <laughs> for the taxman have to be kept. So we'd have those very carefully organised and filed and put away. Um, there's, there's decluttering and there's organising. They're slightly different. 
because cool. decluttering is about reducing the amount of stuff mm. that we have and organizing is about making sure that you can find it and use it and and access it when you need it Right, Zaid, um, I'm going to ask you to declutter our set for us now. Here's a bag. <laughs> you find anything Why that's... Why don't you get on with that? <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll, start, we'll start. start with that thing there. <laughs> <laughs> that's our producer's favourite little ball, <laughs> right, by the way. Okay. Don't you dare what touch is it. That is just well, listen, why don't you go through this stuff and uh, Sally can pass it over to you and see what you should be keeping, what we should get rid of, and we'll come back and see how Zaid <laughs> well, actually I'm, gets I'm, on. I'd get rid of all of it. All of it. You go don't for it. it. Moving on for the moment, and Israeli separation barrier, which cuts through the West Bank, causes misery for many Palestinians.